Hey there guys, it's Crypto Mikhail here. Coming to you today with a bit of a easy video. Um Hive OS and how to set up dual miner so that way you can mine Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, and in this case we're gonna mine Monero with our CPU. So um, I'm going to show you how to set up a Ethereum and Monero uh, miner. <clears throat> when I launch the miner, I'm going to launch my Ethereum Classic one because uh, that's what this rig is going to be on. I need to make my flight sheet in Hive for Ethereum, so this is the best time for me to record this for you. So that way someone can see this. Uh, not many people show this. Um, it's been a little while since I've done a video, so uh, I've had getting my new area set up, and I'm trying to save it for a new mic, because this mic does good, but not so great. Hopefully y'all could hear that. Um, but I'm currently only mining Ethereum Classic on this, so it's pretty simple. Um, so I'll just go ahead and show y'all how to do that. Step by step. And so here is your Hive OS dashboard. Um, you know, I am only currently mining 47 mega, uh, 47 hash on Monero on my second rig. Um, so. I need to set up the flight sheet for this rig. So I'm going to go ahead and click on rig 1. And, you know, it's a GTX 1060 and a GTX 1050 Ti. Um, in order to change the miner, you have to click on flight sheets. So you can see right here I'm currently mining Ethereum Classic. Well, I need to mine a different. I need to mine something different. Oh, there's that one right there. We're gonna remove it. So that way I can show you how to make it. So to make a new flight sheet, you have to click here on your farm, go to flight sheets, and it'll say add new flight sheet. Um. So here will be in your first step in setting up your dual mining process. Um, you go ahead and click on coin ticker, in this case Ethereum. Right here you will have to either select your wallet or create a wallet. To create a wallet you'll just type in your Ethereum address right here. You know all these like great you know letters and numbers. Um, and then just name it this ETH wallet and you would save it. So I'm going to go ahead and select my wallet. Now for pool for Ethereum and Ethereum Classic I use Ethermine. Um, it's the one I've been using. I like it. I haven't had any problems with it. Um, they've been pretty straightforward. So you go ahead and click the miner for this. You're going to click Claymore for the GPUs. Um, dual coin, do not use dual. Um, dual coin is if like you have a six card rig and you want to mine three cards on Ethereum and three cards on Ethereum Classic. You can do that. Uh, no problem whatsoever. I'm not doing that, so no problem there. Um, the second step you need to do is right here. It says add a miner. This is where you'll add in your second miner. So in this case, the coin ticker XMR. Um, you know, same as earlier, you will create your wallet. You know, blah 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 blah. blah. Some numbers. Add a name. Monero 
and let's select that for this pool I use Monero Ocean um, I really like it it's a really low pool fee um, I'll leave links for everything down in the description um, but it's a pretty good pool Miner, you're going to need to select XM Rig. So it mines for CPU. Um, to set up your payout threshold on Monero Ocean, you have to set this up. So you'll just, for password type X, colon, and then put your email. and that way you can log in with your stuff um, you'll just log in with your email and it'll you will it will let you change your payout threshold to the minimum to one whatever you desire um, the minimum is point zero zero three so keep that in mind now all you have to do is create the flight sheet and it's right there it's the same as this one right here uh, so but for rig number one right here we want it to mine run arrow so we'll click flight sheets we'll go to the there's the new flight sheet we just created but we will go to this flight sheet anyway and we need to go ahead shut down the rig so that way it can properly load everything completely from scratch so we'll give that a second it's now offline so instead of clicking here we're going to click here because we want to mine Ethereum Classic on this rig. Uh, the next rig I have is going to mine Ethereum. Um, so I need that for later. So we're just going to give it a second. And reach that. So the, while this is loading, the benefits of having a dual miner is it maximizes the profit from your single mining rig. Um, you're not only mining with just your GPUs, you can mine with your CPU and your hard drive. So it's a real good way to add in profit to ROI in your rig. Um, right now, for me, mining on my CPUs is not profitable whatsoever so it's mainly more just for the experience and the knowing how and showing y'all how to do it so once I get my .03 I'm off um, unless I have like a higher CPU and I, I don't I have a dual core and an old quad core in my other one so nothing impressive um, so it's a pretty good way to ROI quickly, more quickly on your rigs. Um, as you can see, it's loaded back in Hive, so you have to type in miner, enter. As you can see, it's setting up a DAG file. I don't know if y'all can see this, I really hope so. Um, and now it is hashing away. Now, to find out if the other miner is working, you go up to this. You go up here and you go to File, New Tab, and you would type in Miner 
two and it'll pull up that I'm mining on an AMD Anthlon 2 X4 640 processor. Uh, does not have auto assembly so it's not like the best anything in the world it's only putting in 9.2 hash nothing crazy at all just enough to get my minimum and then out uh, so I could show y'all that you know it, it's working um, it is extremely straightforward um, it is not that hard to figure out once you set it all up so as you can see right here it is mining right there it, and now click to my farm and it shows my overall now my overall hash for Monero is 56 instead of 47 from earlier we go ahead and go to the Monero ocean pool I'm currently averaging 46 from earlier I'm going to go ahead and refresh. And it it takes a while for Monero Ocean's pool to refresh. Um, but nonetheless, there you go, guys. Um, there's a Pretty simple, quick video on how to set up a dual miner in Hive OS 2.0 uh, in later versions. Um, so be sure to like, subscribe, check out my live streams every Saturday night with Nemesis on DCTV. Um, I'll leave all the links down in the description and. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, guys.